Thank you. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Oh, never mind. I think I have volume. Mm -hmm. Let me try something else. Uh, Okay. Are you exit out? Huh? Just kidding, you do. <laughs> Go ahead on the Becky, yeah, yeah, down. <laughs> I'm here with Law checking out the new cool design. Oh, hell yeah. I'm going to try not to keep you all here long. I you know, always say that, but then I end up with a 55-hour video. What's going on, uh, little Merc 205? What's happening, fam? What's going on with you? All right. Let's see how many people we got in the building. Let's see if I'm, see if I'm on the pop. Oh, one person watching. I mean, I got to do better than that. Oh, I do this. All right. Oh, eight. Oh, well, yeah, we good to go now. It's all I need is eight. Yes. All right. Now, as y'all know, um, I decided to go ahead and uh, create a new boat. And the last design, I originally wanted to recreate the wooden boat, but out of aluminum. In which, let me go to that right quick. Oh, fuck it, we'll go to this one. All right. What's going on, Mr. Josh? One of my very first subscribers. All right, now, where are you? If y'all have any uh, questions, let me know. And I could, um, wait, how the volume is? Babe? Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. your computer. I'm going to try to show y'all the old boat. I, I thought I had it on this one. Oh, well. File open. Y'all just bear with me one moment. While well, I try to find this sucker, get yeah, open, 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 open. All right, uh, no downloads. In between, here we go. All right, here we go. Now, everybody know this was the old boat. That's fine. An emo, call it a butt. It's the old butt. Now, I originally want to take this older boat right here and just redesign it but with a new material, which would be aluminum, you know, blockity blah, blockity blame, chain, chain, chain. Now, one of the problems I had with this sucker right here was at the very back of it, this these two V holes that I have right here were sitting a little bit too high, well, made the boat float a little bit too high with the jet pump, you know needed to be submerged in the water way more than I had it. Let me turn everything on. Yeah. See how high this jet pump sits? So I had to redesign it to make the bottom part flat. Well, anyway, let me go to the real shit. Reason why open. All right, both. All right. Now, I decided to go ahead and uh, first it's really delete this whole design and come up with something new same change you know i know i told y'all that i was going to stick with the original design but oh well so be it this was the first idea i had which somebody already had this boat design in this free program right here google sketchup i was going to go with this one but then i thought that it was 
looking a little bit too, how can I call it? Uh, I don't know, too geometric. -y. All right. So, then from that, now, now I sat back and I thought, how in the hell do I want this damn boat to look? And I like the way off of Batman Return, with well, the very last couple of Batmans they had, you know, the tumble in it. So I decided to go with that one. Oh, I'm ignoring everybody. Hold on, hold on. Howdy. What 3D modern program software are you using? Josh, I'm using Google SketchUp. Oh, shit. I'm showing it out of the boat. Hold on. We'll get back. No. <laughs> uh, yeah, Josh, I'm using uh, Google SketchUp. Um, I have the 2016 model. I haven't updated it yet, but I've been using it since 2007, and it's basically the same thing. You know, I haven't seen the updates. All right, uh, right side. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm showing you all the good shit. All right, turn this back on. All right, uh, who else says up? What you, what you doing, brother? Uh, oh, I got what you're saying. Oh, hell yeah, hell yeah, be loud. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm almost done. All right, now let me, uh, shit, I'm showing you how to go. Oh, shit. All right, here we go. Everybody know what the tumbler looks like, right? This bad boy right here. Bam! Look how mean that look. See that? That's what I wanted to base the boat out of. Not necessarily recreate this entire thing and just make it float, but the overall um, aesthetical look of it, that's what I was going with. And so, what I did was, I took a picture of the side, the side view, like this, and I went and I traced what I felt would be the, well, I'm still showing you how to good shit, man. Something like this. All right. Now, what's this? I have no idea. I'm going to delete that. I'm supposed to have one pair. Ain't no. All right. So, this is the first render I had. You can see I took a picture of the whole side of the tumbler. And this yellow section you see right here, that's how I originally wanted the, well, not wanted, but that's the first render of the side profile of the boat. So from there, I'm like, you know what? That looks too much like a boat, like a car or something. I need to get a little bit more original, a little more sleep. So then, bam, came this bad boy right here. So this was the um, second, you know, render of it. So I'm like, man, something's still missing. I need more clean, clean, more angles and more, uh, you know, complex shapes in it. So, you're from there. Oh, let me remove this tumble out my way. That man, you gotta go. And then we went. Spam! Check that out. What you tell me? What you think about it? Oh, whoa. man! And I haven't made the full design just yet. This is the uh, just one of the side profiles, and this is how I designed my previous boat. I start off from the side profile first. I know. You know, you're supposed to go, what, what is it? Form follows function. Yeah, but forget that, man. I, I want to go based off what the boat looked like first. Whatever it looked like, and I'll find a way for it to float after that. So, this is, this is me first starting to bend these edges to give y'all the, uh, the front view right here, you know. I'm going to go back to the side view right here. So, yeah. The last boat was 12 foot, you know, from this end over here, from the back of the boat to the front of the boat was 12 foot. This one is actually, uh, I believe, 14. Hold on, let me get a measurement for you right quick. Bam, bam, thank you, bam. Th yeah, this one is actually 14 foot, um, 6 inches, 5 16. You can look at the bottom right-hand side of the screen and it'll tell you. But, uh, yeah, that's basically all I'm going to show you all was how I – design these bad boys, you know, first off, determining what I want it to look like, and I based everything off of that. So, yeah, oh, what's up? What's up? What's up? Fire, yeah, baby, look, Brittany Dix, I know this fire. You ain't got to tell me that, man. Go sit down smoke with that. I know this fire. <laughs> That's a lot of work. It is, man. It is a lot of work. I know it's a lot of work. But, 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 I need to do something different, you know, my last boat, I, I feel, I personally feel that it was different. But, you know, after looking at it, like, have, you know, when you're working on something, while you're into it, you, well, me personally, you know, it's so different. It's unique. Everything is, you know, um, fresh and all that. Once I step back 
and take a look at it after two or three years, it's like, damn, man, that's kind of simple, bro. You could up the ante a little bit more. I know it's going to take a lot of work. And once again, I'm not going to do all this, you know, the first go round. I'm going to do the same way I did the last one. Basically, all of this stuff up top, all that right there is going to be safe for last. I'm only going to focus on the part that I need to get, you know, the boat floating. Um, that's a lot of work. Good luck on your new design. Thank you, Josh, man. It means a lot. Uh, we'll, I'm pretty sure, you know, we're going to have a, a ton of um, obstacles to cross, but we'll get through it. You are one of these people that inspired me to build a boat. I built one for my kids already. Now I'm working on a bigger tempo. Oh, man. You know what? Fire. Fire man. Man, I'm going to subscribe to you right now. I got to see this. Go to the channel. Uh, I just subscribed to you, my brother. It brings us right. Yeah, I'm going to go back and check out some of your videos. Let me go back to this. All right. Uh, that's going to be an awesome boat. Can't wait. Thank you, 509 Trails. A truck. Wait. Yeah, trails. Yeah, brother, you know, I decided, you know, like I said earlier, you know, I went, I just wanted to do, I just wanted to do something that was stupid, something that a lot of people, you know, would say it's a waste of time and it's not going to work. But, yeah, that's the side profile right there. And basically every day after work, you know, I just nip at it, you know, uh, a couple minutes at a time just to get these angles fine-tuned. And I don't want to just make it a boat that you ride in, you know, I want to incorporate some type of functionality to as far as fishing but have like you know as far as the size maybe extending this out these side pieces these side pieces out right here uh come on now i'm doing a live video and you acting crazy you're supposed to well, that's why and you're supposed to uh cooperate make me look like i don't know what i'm doing shoot man i'm, I'm trying to teach people how to there we go red Let's see though. Here we go. Yeah, we'll go to the top view. So this is the top of the boat. Well, this is like I said, this is just one side. You know, I can play with this, extend it out, you know, however far I want to make a little mini platform for fishing or whatever. And if any of y'all have any questions about this program, uh let me know. And I'll go ahead and let y'all know exactly. How I use it, or even, you know, answer, or try to answer your questions. Let's see, many people. That's going to be an awesome boat. I was trying to help you out with the gearing on your other boat. That would be in the runner. Had to be the way. Thank you, um, fireman Jim. Man, that means a lot, brother. You know, um, yeah. Uh, the gear ratio on the previous boat. Right when I started to you know purchase all the all the new gears and all that, um, you know, that's when that big flood happened. Speaking of that boat, let me go back. Uh, open. See if I can um, show you something right quick. Yeah, um, like I said, right when I started purchasing all the new materials for that one, the flood happened, threw everything out out of whack, and um. I never was able to, you know, fully finish it, what happened. And now with this one, if you all don't know as of yet, I uh, wrecked my motorcycle. And so what I could do is take that engine from that motorcycle and throw it on this bad boy, you know? Call me crazy, but hey, let me take off this canopy. Oh, I never showed y'all behind the scenes, huh? Let me see something here. All right, now this, how are you going to put a live well in it? Oh, are you going to put a live well in it? Uh, you know what? I really thought about it, but um, so something as far as live well, that would be, you know, towards the, uh, I, want, I want to say towards the final designing process. I would like it just the bottom hole design and, and at least framed up first. And then build a live well into it, you know. But I, I did think about it. I just haven't fully, you know, planned everything through. Oh, like I said, uh, this is behind the scenes of the old boat, where the boat done already. So if anybody wants the plans, you know, I'm now giving these away since I got my new baby. This is how I designed the previous boat. First off, you know, I made it like this, you know all the primary framing and all of that. 
this is how it's actually <laughs> supposed to look. I know, you know, you have reality and expectations and all that, but this is how it's supposed to look. But I, I think it came pretty close. So, all right, let me remove the canopy. Now, this section over here on the right-hand side of the screen, I'm going to press the box canopy. That should remove the canopy. Of course, I got all these windows open, so it's going to skip. Um, what else? Uh, this boat. This boat you got. Looks like a military. <laughs> yeah. It look, man, I'm so glad you said that. Uh, fire manager, because that's exactly what I was going for. Man, look, the research I done, like, I originally took a, a F-22 fighter jet, and I tried to make a design off of that, and it wasn't going too well. So I went from that, and then I went to the, uh, what is the B-2 bombers, the stealth bombers. I tried to design something from that. You know, I like those sharp angles and all that. I'm like, man, it's, it's still not coming out right. I thought about it some more. Like, you know what? This T-Man dude, he uh he made a, a Tumblr go-kart. I'm like, well, shit. If I could just put some pontoons on that bad bitch, man, it's going to come out all right. So, here we go. You know, I'm glad you said that, bro. That's exactly, that's exactly what I was going for. Uh, if you're going to use a bike engine, you're still going to. Oh, yeah. Oh, no doubt, brother. No doubt. We have to use a jet drive. And once again, my reason for using the jet drive is maybe immature or stupid, but I like the way it looks. That's plain and simple. I like the way the bad boy looks. Not just that, you know. Um, ah, yeah. They're pretty much I like the way it looks. <laughs> uh, and once again, you know, all this is just, you know, in, in the air right now. Nothing is final. But I'm going to get uh, I'm going to get a, a jet pump to where if the motorcycle engine can't be used, I can still use a regular jet ski engine, or I could use um, another uh, Harbor Freight motor or whatever. All right, so I just moved the canopy. It's the top. It's a plexiglass that's supposed to go on the last boat. Windshield, remove windshield. Uh, I know I made a windshield layer. Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, here we go. All right, remove that. Remove it here. And <laughs> call me stupid, y'all. But look, I even made. This is all stuff that I never showed y'all. I even made intakes for this for the old boat. These side skirts you see right here. Um, just air was supposed to come through here, come through these blue ducts, and exit out back here and cool down my little 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 six and a half horsepower engine. Like I said, I never show anybody this. So <laughs> let me uh, remove the intake. Oh, vents. Remove the vents. All right. And here's behind the scenes of the actual engine and all that. Yeah, oh, it is. All right. Now let me remove the engine. Remove the engine. I'm going to remove. Look, I even got the the clutch in here. It's a, Typical clutch. Ooh, ooh, that's a thing. All right. Remove the clutch. I'm going to remove all the stuff that, uh, the motor mount. Don't need a motor mount. Uh, let me see. Remove frame prints. Frame prints too. I'm going to leave the pump on there. Sheathing. Sheathing prints. Uh, mid shaft steering. And remove the water. All right. Now, now I'm moving way fast. All right. Got my computer loading up. Hope this bad boy don't um, die on because my computer has been crashed. Anyway, let me get back to this. Like I was saying, uh, how I designed this sucker, I made it, you know, in a 3D model program. Google SketchUp is free like this. And items just like this pump. I took my tape measure, took my caliper, and I made it in this 3D model program to within a 16th. That way I knew. Now, I designed a boat exactly where to place everything, right? And so, you know, mid shaft, sheathing, prince, frame two, bench frame one, uh, sheathing, prince, sheathing, pump, frame two. All right. And so, what I did was basically took each panel, like each one of these gray pieces right here, and then uh, frame one prince. All right, let me go to the top view. Now you see these red pieces? Those are my primary frames. I took those and I made a seven, I'm not, I made a four by eight piece of uh, wood. 
That way, when I went to Home Depot or Lowe's, I knew exactly how much, you know, wood I would need. So I'm sure I did that. I drew a line coming over here. I went down with it. Came back over with it. Came back up with it like this. And let's just say this is a four by eight. And so each one of these red pieces, I rotated them to where I could fit them in all of these four by eights right here. So that way I knew. Oh, what the, oh I never showed you all this. I, I, I'm sorry I keep sidetracking like this, but oh shit, I forgot about this bullshit. Oh man, let me take y'all through this. <laughs> Can y'all believe? All right, this was the very first design that I came up with the old boat. <laughs> oh shit, I'm a. Come on. I'm gonna use that bike engine with jet drive today. I love jet drive, turn the engine sideways, uh, run the engine in third gear, connection. Man, I'm so glad you said that because I was thinking that I would have to use a clutch, you know, in order to run that. If you're gonna use a Harbor Freight engine, body 13 inch Harbor Two engine. Well, I actually thought about getting that um that B twin that Harbor Freight got, brother. But you know, like I said, you no know, things slip me out right now. And uh <laughs> Yeah, this was the very first one. Man, what was it? the hell was I thinking? Oh, all right. So I moved from that. And then I found, well, yeah, then I went to this one, you know? And that looked like a damn shit turd. Look, look how stupid. Oh, what was I thinking? And then I found this one on uh, SketchUp, you know? And so I said, you know what? I like the way that look. Looks too much like a uh, car. What is it, a beam, whatever it is? I said, you know what? I could prep that, spruce it up myself. So when, then from there, I went to this bad boy. And so after that, we came out with this bad boy over here. So let me take all that off. Once again, on the right-hand side, I got all the stuff in different layers. I'm going to press the old bolt checkbox and remove it. Here we go. All right, let me get back to these prints. Anyway, so I knew by playing with, with all of these uh, red pieces right here, I rotated them around to where they fit on four by eight pieces of uh, plywood. That way I knew exactly, you know, where I had to cut and how much scrap I was going to have left. And that's how I came up with the primary frame. All right, so we're going to turn frame one off. And the same thing with these white pieces. These white pieces right here, after I made the primary frame, I then, you know, noticed that I needed a secondary frame to uh, help stiffen it. And so I'm gonna go to frame two or frame two prints, all right. And that's gonna be this one right here. All of these pieces right here and all of the dimensions. So this is how I cut all of those pieces to where they interlock with each other. And see for your curves right here, it's a little tip. Now I'm giving y'all this one for free. Usually I charge for this, but since y'all are buddies, I'm giving y'all this one free. I came down every one inch. So come down one inch, go over 116. I come down another inch, go over wherever it is, and keep on going. You know, like a scale almost. Keep riding it down. And that's how I made all those pieces. And I somewhat labeled them. And the same thing as far as the sheathing. The same thing for the side panels. I took all of my side panels, which is the gray parts, came over here. And the same thing, four by eight. This was a these are pieces of plywood right here, eighth inch thick sheathing. I did the same thing. I laid them out, rotated all the red pieces to where they, you know, lined up to where I wouldn't have as much uh, scrap material. And, that's how, and I knew that when I go to Home Depot to purchase six sheets, sh 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 shit, six sheets of plywood. Oh, let me read some of these comments. Hold on. You are a direct drive with a subscription cut. Wait, are you a direct drive? Uh, Josh, um, you might have to. Are you direct drive with a subscription cut? Uh, I'm not sure exactly what you mean, Josh. Um, for the old boat, it was you know going from the engine to the clutch to the jet pump. Now on the new one, hopefully I could uh go straight from. The motorcycle engine to the jet pump with some type of adapter or universal or something like that you know um hopefully i could do that 
Um, you can get 20 for sauce for out of 13, about $100 more than the price to be twin. That's more than that. Okay, then, five man, though. Like I said, you know, I haven't looked into the specs and all that yet. And that's what we thought about. You know, by using the diesels and the suggestions. Could be thoughts, but, but, um, uh, what happens is now. Uh, y'all can even see the screen now. Hold on. Well, I guess that's my my cue to leave. Oh, never mind. I came back. I don't know what I did. Anyway, uh, uh man, I tried using that in SketchUp, but I'm no good at uh, making something. Man, <laughs> five man gym, look. Like I said, if if you really want to learn it, like if you really want to, you know, learn how to use this, bro, I don't care how long it takes. I would show y'all how to, well, you how to use it. I'm off all day tomorrow. Well, two or three hours to do it tomorrow, but I can show you, you know, from scratch how to make a box, then go from there how to make a triangle, then how to make an arc, how to make a circle, then how to put all this stuff together. Man, it's, it's real simple, bro. If I could do it, anybody could do it. Well, no, not... I'm in too long horn. <laughs> I'm messing. All right, Josh. We're going to help you. Now, Josh, now I know you said the diesel engine has lower running RPM. Uh, well, I think, well, judging by all the comments that everybody leave, I think I need high RPMs with these uh, jet pumps for the boat. You know, um, it's not so much of the uh, torque. Well, of course, you're going to need torque, but what all the information I've been getting from everybody is that uh, RPMs is a little more important. So, oh, neither. Um, Josh. oh, I'm sorry. Fireman said that. Okay, then. I'm sorry. Um, I lower coolism. I'm sure the max is 13. You get four. Let's see. 4,000 RPM? Um, I think I need way more than that, brother. Because. Let me see. I think I need more like uh, 7,000 RPM as far as all the, you know, other jet skis and how they come. Look at this bullshit over here, y'all. Look at all these measurements and numbers. Watch. Look, look, oh, look at this one. This, this took me a while with this one. All these guidelines and stuff. Y'all should have seen me. I carried these sheets up the second floor in the apartment complex and look all these out. All right, bro. Uh, all right, I just need an adapter for the bike engine. Let me know I can get. Wait, you get that point. I'm gonna show you my tray. You know, I can see I got the hook up. And I'm gonna go. Oh, what? Man, two machine, two machinists, Josh and five. Man, man, brother, brother, brothers, man. So we got two machines up in here. Turn that one on right this one and just these engines. Oh hell yeah, man. Look, I'm I'm for sure let y'all know, brother. You know, if I can you know, give Josh the part or uh fireman Jim, you know, like you know which one of y'all want to do it. You know, and then, and of course this is no charity case, you know. We're gonna, you know, pay y'all, what have you. But yeah, brother. But some, but something like that, the um, the adapter coming from the motorcycle engine directly to the drive shaft, not drive shaft, to the shaft of the actual pump of the new boat. Um, that's going to be a long time from now. I'm talking maybe like a whole other year and a half, you know. But once we get to that point, like you said, Farmer Jim, um, I'll be sure to hit y'all up, y'all. All right, um. Yeah, I don't want to keep you all here, but basically that's all I wanted to do was just show you all the new boat, show you all the old boat and how I went about, you know, designing it. And um, like I said, if y'all have any questions, just go ahead and let me know. 
And uh, let's see what else. Documents. Uh, plate. Um, I'm coming, y'all. That case. Second view. Bat. Oh, here we go. All right. Yeah. Um, who else? I mean, look, I see my record. Too far in front of me. My desk key running at the top of If you ever take an hour, probably over 200 to go around and see if you're going to run around. You said a Honda run up to sixty four. Now I could I could deal with that, you know. Sixty four hundred RPM. I could show up with that, brother. That'll be more than enough for what I need. Because the the only time that the boat actually ran in water, I had it geared way too low. It was like a three to, I believe like a three to one. So really, I was running at a thousand RPMs, getting nine miles an hour. Let's just say ten miles an hour. At a thousand, so let's just say for every thousand RPM, you're doing ten miles an hour. So ten, twenty. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I think you're right about that thirteen horsepower again, brother. I think that might work. But I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here, y'all. Like I said, um, if y'all want to learn more about this program, I'll, uh, I'll bring y'all through a basic, you know, course, what have you. But um, till next time, y'all. Uh, catch y'all later. Thanks for tuning in. I know this sucker been going on way too long. Oh, who is this? How are you doing? Frog Z, man, I'm doing real good. How are you doing? The question is, how are you doing? That's a, that's the real question. That's what I want to know. Forget me. I want to know how you doing. <laughs> let's see. Yeah, um, but if y'all don't have any questions, I'm going to go ahead and sign on out. Once again, thank y'all for watching. How excited! Uh, Found tuning the gear. I would say about five or six. Uh, I just got off work and I missed most of the show that I went to watch. Yeah, I just got off work and I missed most of the show. Yeah. I want to be able to watch y'all do it actually. I do it actually now. Oh, well, you didn't really miss much, brother. I was just showing everybody the new design of the new boat and my inspiration. That's all. Um, Let me show it to you right quick. Basically, I, you know, went from this tumbler right here, Batman tumbler. Pretty sure you've seen it in Batman movies. Uh, and I just took the way you had it to where I could, uh, you know, Design a new boat, brother. Based off of that. I think it looked pretty cool. Like I told everybody else, um, my primary reason, the primary thing I look for when I design is the way it looks. Forget the function. I could I could squeeze function in another you know, type of way. But yeah. Uh, you have a good night too, five minute Jim. Have you ever tried the mud bowl? Yeah, I actually thought about those, but you know, I've I seen people use that, and I wanted to try something not necessarily new, but something that's kind of crazy, wild, and different. You know, that's why I never decided to use a mud mold or a mud mold. Let's see. Oh yeah. But I'm going to sign out. Once again, thank y'all for watching. And if y'all have any questions about this program, let me know for the 15th time. I'm going to catch y'all later. Bye-bye. Uh, oh, I'm showing you all my screen, man.